Dun 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 dun. Chapter twenty two. Book of Luke. Now the feast of the unleavened bread and leavened bread called the Passover was drawing near. The chief priests and scribes were seeking a way to put him to death, for they were afraid of the but they were for they were afraid of the people. Then Satan entered. Then Satan entered into Judas, one one with the surname Issachar, who was counted among the twelve. Then he went into the chief. Then he went to the chief priests and temple guards to discuss a plan for handing him over to them. They were pleased and agreed to pay him money. He accepted the offer and sought a favorable opportunity to hand him over to him in the absence of a crowd. Um, then, when the day of the these feast of the unleavened bread arrived, the day of sacrificing for the Passover and the day of the sacrificing of the Passover lamb, he sent over Peter and John, instructing them, "Go make preparations for us to eat eat the Passover." They asked him, "Where do you want us to make the preparations?" And he answered them, When you go into the city, a man will meet you carrying a jar of water. Follow him into the house that he enters, and say to the master of the house, The teacher says to you, Where is the guest room, where I may eat the Passover for my disciples? And he'll show you a large upper room that is unfurnished. Make the preparations there. Then when he went, then they, then they went off and found everything exactly as he told them. And they were prepared, and, they, and there they prepared to, to prepare the to Passover. When the hour came, he took his place at the be at the table of the apostles. Then he said to him, "I have eagerly desired to, read the, to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it again until there is a fulfillment of the kingdom of God." Then he took up a cup and gave thanks and said, "Take this and share it amongst yourselves. I t for I tell you that from this time on, I shall not drink the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes." Then he took the bread and getting the blessings, broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, I'll give it on give it to you. Do this in memory in remembrance of me in memory of me. And likewise the cup after you have eaten likewise the cup after they had eaten they had eaten saying, The cup is the new covenant of my blood which will be shed for you. Then and then behold the lamb, the hand of the one who has betrayed me that is, was, the, the, uh, behold, the hand of the one who's betrayed, who betrayed, who is to betray me, is on the table. For the son of man indeed goes as it has been determined, but woe be that man by whom he is betrayed. And he began to debate amongst themselves. They began to debate amongst themselves who among them would do such a deed. And then the argument broke up among which of them should be regarded as the greatest. Then he said to them, "The kings of the Gentiles lord over them." And whose in authority of them are addressed as benefactors, but among you it shall not be so. Rather, let the greatest among you be as the youngest and the, and the leader of the servants. For it is great. For who is greater? The one who is greater, the one seated at the table, or the one who serves? It is not the one who is seated at the table. I am among the one. I am among you as the one who serves. For it is you who have stood by me in my trials, and I confer a kingdom on you. Just as my kingdom has, just as my father has conferred on on me, that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and you shall, and you will sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has demanded to sift all you like wheat. I, but I have prayed that all, I have, be, but I have prayed that your own faith may not fail, and once you have turned back, you must strengthen your brothers. He said to him, Lord. I am prepared to go to prison to die with you, but then he replied. He but he replied. I tell you, Peter, before the cock crows, the cock crows today, uh, the 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 cock calls today. You will deny three times yet you will know me. Then he said to him, uh, whatever. When I send you forth for a money bag or sack, then he said to him, when I send you without money bag or sack or sandals, uh, were you in need of anything? No, nothing. They replied. He said to them, "But now, one who has who has a money bag should take it, and likewise a sack. And one who does not have a sword should sell his cloak and buy one. For I tell you, the scripture must be fulfilled was must be fulfilled in me, namely, he was counting among the wicked. He was counted among the wicked, and therefore, namely, he was counted among the wicked, and therefore, it was indeed what is written about me is coming in fulfillment." And he said, Lord, look, there are two swords here. He, he, but he replied, it is enough. Then going out, he went, as as it was accustomed to the Mount of Olives, and the disciples followed him. When he arrived at the place, he said to them, pray that you might not undergo the test. 
After withdrawing a bottle of stones throw from them, he kneeled and kneeling and pre kneeling, he prayed, Father, if you are saying, Father, if you will willing, take this cup away from me. Still not my will, but still not my will, but yours be done. And it strength and to strengthen him an angel from heaven appeared to him. He was such an agony, and he prayed so fervently that his sweat became drops of blood, like like drops of blood falling onto the ground. And when he rose from prayer, he turned to the disciples. He found them sleeping from grief. He said to them, "Why are you sleeping? Get up and pray, that you may not undergo the test." While he was still speaking, a crowd approached in front, and it it was one of the twelve, a man called man called Judas. He went up to Jesus and kissed him. Jesus said to him, "Judas." Uh, you betrayed the son of man of a kiss. He disciples the disciples realized what was about to happen, and he asked, "Lord, shall we strike with the sword?" And one of them struck on the high priest's servant and cut off his right ear. But Jesus said, in reply, "Jesus said, reply, stop, no more of this." Then he touched that servant's ear and healed them. Then Jesus said to the chiefs, priests, and temple guards, and elders who come for them, "Have you come out against? Have you come out against a robber with swords and clubs?" The day after day. Uh, day after day, I was with you in the temple area, but you and you did not see me. But this is your hour, the time of the time of power of darkness. After addressing him, he led him away and took him into the house of the high priest. Peter was falling at a, at a distance. Then he lit. They lit a fire in the middle of the courtyard and sat around it. And Peter sat down with them. When the maid saw him seated in the right, he looked intently and said, "This man was too with this man was too with him." But he denied, saying, "A woman, I did not know him." Uh, a short while later, someone else saw him and said, "You too are are one of them." But Peter said, uh, "Answered, my friend, I'm not, my friend, I'm not." And later, still another insisted, uh, still another insisted, "Surely this man was too with him, for he was also a Galilean." But Peter said, "My friend, I do not know what you're talking about. Just as this you're saying is the cock road." And the Lord turned and looked at Peter, and Peter remembered the the word of the Lord, how he had said to him, Before the crop crows with you the ninety three times. He went out and prayed he went out and began to whip bitterly. The men who held Jesus in custody were really feeling and be, be, be beating him. You blindfolded him and asked they blindfolded him asking prophecy, who is that you prophesize? A prophecy. Who is that? Who is that? Uh, the, who is that that struck you? And they reviled. And they reviled him by by saying many things against him. But um, but then the day the day when the day came, the council of elders of the people met, for both chief and priests and scribes. They brought to him before their Sanhedrin, and he said, "You are the Messiah. If you are the Messiah, tell us." So he replied, "I'll tell you." you if I tell you, you will not believe, and if I question, you will not respond. But from this time on, the Son of Man will see at the right hand of the power of God. Then they all, then they all asked, "Are you then the Son of God?" He replied, them, "You say that I am." Then, then they say, "What further need for this? For we have, what further need do we have, do we have for testimony? We've heard it from his own mouth." There we go. Chapter twenty-three, I believe. Have you such a good night? Do you? Okay.